Good morning. My dad and I are here at Sunset Point inside Bryce Canyon National Park. Yep, it's called the Navajo Loop. Let's do it. We've already driven back and forth on the scenic drive. We've stopped at all the overlooks. And the thing is we started at the top and we have worked our way down. As far as I know, this is like the last overlook before you exit the park. And then we got down here and this trail was open. I was like, dude, we gotta go for it. Look at this, it's a little, it's a little sketchy, it's a little sketch. See right here is the split. I think this is where the loop reconnects. It's a thing called Wall Street, and this is what's closed in the winter. But that looks really cool. You get to go through that little tunnel right there. That looks awesome. And like I said, that part is closed, so we can only do part of the loop. I'm just happy to get to be doing some type of walking around today. I mean, everywhere else that we've gone in this park, it's just been like three feet of snow. Uh, this is like otherworldly. That rock with the holes in it right there. Uh, we got the Campbell's thick and chunky mud going on right here. It's a little nasty, a little soupy. But yeah, we're gonna keep dropping it down. Looks like it gets even muddier down there. But you know what? I drove like 750 miles to get here. I'm not gonna let a little mud stop me at this point. This rock right here is crazy. I'm just gonna follow this little river of mud. It is nice and soft. Like I said, we've come too far to be stopped by a little bit of mud. Yeah, this is kind of gross though. This is kind of gross. Wow. There's that thing you see in all the pictures right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, this snow is adding an extra element to the visuals, and I'm liking it. Amazing views on this hike. This is an unbelievable little trail. I mean, even if you just come down right here and just look at these rocks, it's worth it. This is fantastic. I didn't think anything could beat the river walk yesterday, but this is a little better, I think. I don't know. This is pretty spectacular. Oh, you know what? I think that thing's called Thor's hammer. That thing's got to be called Thor's hammer. And look at the three mini hammers behind it. Now, if I hear a push, yeah. as you go sliding off, wow. This is beautiful through here. <laughs> this is an awesome trail. Like I said, even if you just come down here just to explore it and check it out, well worth it. I bet this is just wall to wall people in the summer. I bet it's crazy. Where are we going now? Oh, I love hiking in Utah. So much fun. Ooh, we're going right down here. I've seen this in pictures. I've seen this in the pictures.
and we've made it down the majority of the switchbacks. We're down here closer to the bottom. However, it looks like it does continue to drop. So this is gonna be quite a hike back up out of here. <laughs> but that's okay, we've got all day. We got nothing else to do. We're just gonna take our time. This is magnificent, spectacular, mind blowing. We got Goldilocks in the three caves right here. We're continuing to drop. We have been going straight down the entire time, which means that we're gonna be going straight up the entire time back. Something tells me we're gonna be huffing and puffing when we finally make it up there. But guess what? We've got cookies. So that's gonna be my motivation. Yeah, they're vegan oatmeal chocolate chip. I mean, I'm not really crazy about putting the words vegan and oatmeal in anything, but they are good. They are good. Wow, this is slick. This is kind of slushy through here. We're continuing to drop down. It's a little slick through here, and I would highly recommend micro spikes. That would make it a piece of cake. It looks like the water's run down and cut that little arch out right there. And we've made it out to two bridges. Hey, what's better than one bridge? Two bridges. Let's check them out. Oh, it is cool. You got one and two. And that equals two bridges. Bridges. What's wrong with your mouth? We're getting blocked on the right side here. This is fantastic. God. This has turned into another great day. We're back to jackpotting. And this is looking back at where we've come from. We've come down through all of that. Amazing. I think we're getting close to hitting the bottom here. It's starting to flatten out a tiny little bit. And normally this trail would loop around and connects back up with this part called Wall Street. However, that's all closed in the winter. I see a bench out here that has our name on it. And probably quite literally, it probably does have our name scratched into it too, because we've seen a bunch of graffiti up here. And right here around the corner, this is where the trail's closed. This is where it connects back up with Wall Street. That's a bummer too, because that looks cool. We're sitting here chilling in our spot. We just ate some beef jerky. I'm chewing on a noon tablet. And we're trying to decide what we want to do. If we go back the way we came, the sign says that it's six tenths of a mile. And we know that's literally straight up. Or we can do the Queens Garden Trail. And that's 1.6 miles to wrap it around and back to Sunset Point. We're going to have to go back up no matter what. So we're thinking about maybe trying the Queens Garden Trail. And hopefully that's a little more mild. I don't know. We decided to be adventurous and we're going to attempt the, what's the thing called? The Queen's Garden Loop. Looks pretty cool though. And we've got this nice day. It's still relatively early. 
I think it's like about 12.55 or so. So we got plenty of time. We just talked to some ladies who had come from this way and they said it took them like an hour and 20, hour and a half to get to this point. But it doesn't matter what we would have chosen, we're still gonna have to hike back up to Sunset Point. We're starting to pick up quite a bit of mud through here, but I guess the whole thing's been pretty muddy. Not a big deal though. All we gotta do is just dance around in the snow when we get back up to the car, get that mud off. Man, someone's an idiot and left their banana peel up here. What do they think that's just gonna disappear? I mean, eventually it'll disappear like in years. Dumbasses. We're talking to the people as they come our way and do the loop in the opposite direction. And they're saying that the way that we came down is supposedly much icier than the way that we're going and the way that we're gonna hike up out of here. They say it's more muddy where we're heading. Yeah, this is really incredible through here. I'm glad we decided to come this way. Like I said, we're gonna have to hike back up to Sunset Point no matter what. So we might as well try and complete the loop and see as much new stuff as we can. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of people doing this loop in both directions, so it's debatable which way is better. Ooh, nice little overhang right here. It's kind of cool. Oh, and a nice little place to sit underneath of it. I don't mind if I do. Take a quick little 30 second. And this is the view from the bench. We're sitting under the overhanging rock. And this is epic. What an awesome hike. All right, and we have decided to continue on. Got a fresh battery in the GoPro, we're ready to go. We're currently going up. And so far this is a lot more mild of an incline. For sure, this is a lot easier. But my goodness, it is just crazy through here. I'm so thankful we got to do this hike. I'm so thankful. This is epic. Get a little slot canyon action going on right here. Coming up to a junction here. Looks like we're gonna hang a right to Sunset Point. We're gonna get some tunnel action. We just took a left at that 
trail split, we're gonna head on over and check out this hoodoo called Queen Victoria. And supposedly, it's a rock formation that looks like the Queen of England or something. It's a little spur trail. And we've heard from other hikers that it takes maybe like five minutes to hike out to it. So we're gonna go check it out. We are now in the belly of the Queen's Garden. And that took maybe five minutes to hike out to the Queen Victoria hoodoo. We're now reconnecting with the trail split. We're gonna take it through the little tunnel here. This is incredible back here. <laughs> Look at that. We just look at it. No, pictures are not doing this justice at all. I mean, we got some good cameras and everything, but you got to see this to believe it. I can see some people walking over here. So it looks like that's where the trail's gonna connect. I'm so glad we went this way. This is epic. It's like every time I put the camera away, I immediately get it back out and start recording because I think I'm missing something. This is mind blowing through here. I highly recommend this. So far, other than the elevation gain that we're going to have to do, this isn't a hard hike at all. I mean, it's graded really nicely. We're not having to pick our way through rocks or anything. Yeah, this is great. What a nice surprise. Just a real nice surprise. I had just put my camera away. And then we came around the corner and we got the double diamond balancing rocks right here. I just made that name up, it's not official. Don't go Googling it or nothing. This is kind of a shorter tunnel. This is not as tall as the other one. Did you get through there? <laughs> So here's the deal guys, we're definitely coming up the more gradual of the inclines. However, if you didn't have spikes, you're probably going to be better off coming down this way and going up the switchbacks with the snow. It's going to be much easier going up that part without spikes than coming down it. All right guys, I think we're getting real close to gaining the top again. And then from there, not only are we gonna get blasted by the wind, but it also includes another one mile hike down the road to Sunset Point. How are you doing? We getting close to the top? No. No, okay. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> I thought we were getting kind of close to the top right here. And I just asked these ladies, I go, 
Are we close to the top? She said, no. And this is what they're talking about with the mud. This is some Campbell's thick and chunky right here. You can feel your boots just getting heavier with each step as the mud coagulates to the bottom. And look at this rock formation. It looks like a partially melted snowman. And then right back up here, I can see another little arch. And there are arches all over the place. I don't even know if that's an arch, but it's another hole in the rock. I think we're getting pretty close to the top. According to the GPS, we've got maybe a hundred vertical feet or so. If that, we gotta be getting close though because the wind is really blowing. All right, looks like we need to ramp it up right here. It's just now 218 in the afternoon and we've made it back up to sunset point okay here's where my confusion's coming in we ended up at sunrise point and then we parked down here at sunset point i was getting my sons mixed up we got to hike it back to sunset point <sighs> no worries though and that's looking down at the queen's garden i believe that's where we had hiked around awesome hike unbelievable hike one of my favorites in utah so far I think we're hiking back across the rim portion of the trail right now. Yeah, this is awesome. What a great hike. We need Sunset Point. So let's continue on. And that's looking down at where we started earlier today. The trail's coming up and it starts right here. So this means we have completed the loop. Awesome. Awesome. Yep, there it is. Nice job. Pound it. Boom. You got that. That was great. I look like I'm still alive. You know, all the pictures you that Nick's taken of down in there looking at those weird formations. When you're doing our hike, you're down in there with them. Yeah. That that's that's awesome. Yeah. It's unbelievable what what what's down there. That was incredible. Yep. I've done some awesome hikes in Utah. I'm telling you, they just keep getting more awesome. Hope you enjoyed that short little hike. And until the next one, y'all. Peace. peace.